Hello, my name is Rose and I'm an illustrator. I particularly like making picture books. At first, I was worried that being a freelance illustrator would mean spending lots of time on my own making art. For some people, that sounds like the dream, but my brain works better working in a team and I really like how ideas get buzzier the more people chip in. Luckily, I quickly realised that illustration commissions and projects can always be a team effort. This is especially true when making picture books. because I get to work with lots of different people. I'll explain by showing you three picture books that I've made. Here is a picture book published by a gallery in Cambridge. The words and pictures are all inspired by two months of Friday mornings I spent with 13 families, playing, sharing stories, eating breadsticks and talking about paintings by an artist called Alfred Wallace. Here are the sketches I made during the sessions. The words were co-written by a writer who knew the gallery inside out. Next, here is a picture book I made to share my journey of not feeling able to use my voice as a young person. You know that feeling when you've got a head full of fizzy ideas, but you can't quite get them out of your mouth. I worked on the first draft on my own, and then I asked lots of different people to read it and let me know what they reckon. I got brilliant advice from Year 4 students, their teachers, lots of families, children's book publishers and other picture book makers. All their feedback transformed the story lots of times, I've stopped working on this book for the moment, but I'm looking forward to picking it back up and transforming it again. Finally, here's the very beginnings of a picture book I've started very recently. A writer asked me to illustrate a story she had written. It's a funny magic story about how brilliant grandmas are. I'm almost at the first draft stage, when I'll show it to the writer. That's always a bit scary. What if it's not what she imagined? Most of the time, writers are very happy to see their stories change and grow. Fingers crossed, that will happen this time too. So there are lots of different people involved in making picture books, as well as the illustrator. There's writers, families, young people, publishers, and other artists. You can start by thinking who you could collaborate with to make a story together. What are your skills and expertise? And what are the skills and expertise of your friends and your family? Maybe you're excellent at writing and have a great story idea about the seaside for very young children. First, you could collaborate with your brother, who's an expert seagull painter, and change the writing so it's from the seagull's point of view. Then, you could pop into the chip shop and ask the regulars for any funny seaside stories to add in. Finally, you could ask your neighbour to try reading it to his twin four-year-olds to tell you what they reckon. So that's why I think about picture books. I'd love to hear what you think about them too and see the stories that you make together. It takes some bravery to share your stories, especially when you're new to story making. But the more you talk about your picture books with other people, and the more you're open to it evolving, the more opportunity your story has to grow beyond anything you could have imagined on your own.